there are not many things in this life that we can know for certain. Unfortunately, many people think that salvation is one of those things that we can't know for sure. My name's Ricky White. I'm pastor of Havenwoods Baptist Church. And today I'd like to have a word with you about the certainty of salvation. If you have your Bibles, I'd like for you to take them turn to 1 John chapter 5. And we're going to look today where the Bible talks about how we can know for certain that we are saved. In today's passage, God tells us that we can know that we're saved. I mean that you can have absolute assurance of your salvation. And so today there's two witnesses that I want us to look at here in 1 John chapter 5 that speak to us and can confirm to us our salvation. The first witness is the witness of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit can bear witness of our salvation. In 1 John chapter 5 and verse 10, the Bible says, He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in himself. So what that means is that when we give our lives to Christ, the Holy Spirit takes up residence in our life and he bears witness to us of our salvation. The witness of the Spirit is not an emotional feeling. You know, many times folks base their salvation on, well, this is how I felt when I prayed the prayer, or this is how I, I felt moving forward from that point. And, you know, I can tell you, friend, that salvation is not a feeling. Uh, there are many days that I get up and I don't feel saved, but, but I know in my heart that I am. It, it's far beyond a feeling. Your emotions are the shallowest part of your nature. And salvation, in turn, is the deepest work of God in us. So he will not do the deepest work in the shallowest part. Isn't that good? God won't do his greatest work of salvation in the shallowest part of us, which is our emotions and our feelings. The Holy Spirit speaks to your human spirit with a quiet confidence that you belong to Jesus Christ. I, I've told people this for years. Hey, if you're questioning or doubting your salvation, just ask God. God, am I your child? God, do you know me as your child? Do I know you as my father? And his spirit will bear witness with your spirit that you are his child. He will speak to your heart and your spirit to give you the assurance that you are his child. See, this inner awareness that those who are saved know they are. Only God can give you that inner awareness, that inner assurance that you know him. A true believer with this witness is never at the mercy of an unbeliever who has an argument. You're always going to have people who are going to want to argue with you about your salvation. Was it real? Did you really know what you were doing? And all of those things. But again, that argument uh, means nothing in light of God's inner witness in your heart and life that you know that you know that you're saved. So we have the witness of the Spirit. And then secondly, we have the witness of the Word. In 1 John, again, uh, chapter 5, and verses 11 through 13, the Bible tells us that the Scripture confirms our relationship with God. That, that you can know, again, His Word confirms to us that we are His children. And friend, I'm telling you, there's so many people that are in our churches every week that still question and doubt, am I really saved? If I'm really saved, why did I do that? Or if I'm really saved, why did God do that? And, and God just says, you know what? Just bring all your questions and lay them at the feet of Jesus and trust his work. Because I, I believe that the Bible gives us our, our Christian birth certificate, if you will, in John chapter um uh, John chapter 5 and verse 24. John 5, 24. And this is what the Bible says. John 5, 24. It says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word 
and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. That, that is our, our spiritual birth certificate of saying, if you did what I ask you to do, if you purposely, intentionally call out to God, surrender your life to him, ask him to forgive you of, his, of your sin, and, and, and just trust the Lord, friend, you can know that you're saved. You can have the assurance in your heart. And, and here's what I encourage you to do, is, is if you have been saved in the past and, and you happen to know when that was, write that down somewhere. Um, you know, um, I, I celebrate uh, May the 19th every year as my spiritual birthday. Uh, you know, and, and, and again, you may say, well, I don't know the date and the time and all that, but can you go back to... I don't know the exact, all the details of it, but I know there was a day and time that I did that. I guess the reason I say that is because there are many people who will tell you and say, well, I've just been a Christian all my life. Well, friend, there had to be a moment of repentance in your life. There had to be a moment that you, again, purposely, willingly gave your heart and life to Christ. And if you've not done that, the good news is today you can do that. Wherever you are watching this right now, you can call out to God and say, God, I, I, I do a lot of spiritual stuff. I may go to church. I may even be in leadership in church, but I, I realize that I, I'm not saved. I've not truly given my heart and life to Christ. And you can call out to him and just ask him to forgive you of your sin and come into your heart and life and be your personal Savior and Lord. And friend, he can do that right now, right where you are. And, and when you do that, you can, can have the certainty of knowing that you are his child and you're forever his child. I, I, I would like to put it this way. How eternal is eternal life if you can have it today and lose it tomorrow? You know, that, that the Bible says over and over that he gives us eternal life. He gives us everlasting life. And just recently, I had a young Christian come to me and say, you know, I told a lie this week, and, and so I'm not sure if I'm really really saved or not. And, and I was able to give them the assurance, hey, if you did what the Word of God told you to do, you prayed, you asked God to forgive you of your sin, you asked him to come into your heart and life and change you from the inside out. But friend, if you did that, you are saved. Now, when you sin, you need to confess that to God. Not only do you need to confess it, you need to repent of it, which means you turn away from it and say, God, I don't want to do that again. I want you to change my heart and change my mind toward that habit, that sin in my life that, that's tearing me down. And so today I would say to you, if you don't know Jesus, if you've not confessed your sin to him and ask him to be your savior and Lord, do that today while the spirit of God's speaking to you. But if you are saved and you still struggle with questions and doubts about your salvation, really allow God to search your heart and say, is there sin in my heart and life that's causing me to doubt the work that God has done in me? And it may be today that you just need to say, God, just help me have that assurance in my heart that I know you, that you are my Savior and my Lord. And just confess to him today, God, I, I do have questions. I do have doubts. But God, I need you to give me that assurance today. And friend, if you ask God for that, he will give that to you through two ways. By the witness of his spirit confirming in your heart, hey, listen, you did what I asked you to do and, and, and you are my child now. But also so through the witness of his word that tells you over and over and over again, uh, for instance, in uh, 1 John five thirteen. The Bible says, these things have I written to you that you may know 
that you have eternal life. And so, friend, I, I don't know about you, but I'm so thankful today that God gives us a no-so salvation, that we don't have to, to, to just hold on and hope for the best until we go to stand before God one day. Um, but no, we can have the assurance today that, hey, I know I have peace with God. I know I have done what God's asked me to do in calling out to him in salvation. And as a result, I know I have a home in heaven. And not only does God give us eternal life in heaven, but he gives us abundant life. John 10.10 10 says he gives us abundant life on this earth. And I don't know of a person that doesn't need abundant life. God giving you the ability to live a victorious life over the circumstances and situations of this world and this, this day. And so God gives you the power to have eternal life in heaven and abundant life on earth. I want to pray for you today as we close our time and just ask God to give us that assurance. Because listen, friend, this is what I found. If we don't have assurance in our relationship with God, we're going to lack victory and our fellowship with God. It's really hard to overcome sin. It's really hard to ever move beyond that salvation experience if we're still struggling with, am I really saved? So allow God to give you that assurance through his spirit and through his word today. Let's pray together. Father, I pray right now for each one who's watching this video. God, I pray that if there's anybody who doesn't know you as their Savior and Lord, that today they would call out to you and ask you to come into their heart, forgive them of their sin, and change them from the inside out to make them the person, the child of God that you want them to be. And God, I also pray today for that one who is saved. They know there was a day and time that they gave their heart and life to you, but they still just struggle with questions and doubts about their relationship with you. God, I pray you would seek their heart today. Search their heart. And God, will just uh, if there's any sin, if there's anything in their life that they're harboring there that's causing them to question their fellowship with you and their relationship with you, God, I pray you'd just settle that in their heart today, that we could call out to you and ask you for forgiveness for the areas that we, we have failed you. Lord, that we would ask you to help us repent and turn away from the things that damage our relationship with you. And just give us the strength to walk with you each and every day. Lord, we thank you that you give us a no-so salvation. That we can absolutely know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're your child. And Lord, I pray you would help us grow each day to know more and more about what that means as we walk with you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, even as I was praying that, I thought there's so many people that I talk to that say, you know, well, I gave my life to Jesus at an early age or something like that, I, and I didn't know all that that meant. Well, you know what? I've been saved for 37 years, and I'm still learning daily what all it means to be a Christian, what it means to, to walk with God. It's, it's a journey, friend. It's a walk that we take with God. And God wants to walk it with us. He, he wants to help us on our best days and on our worst days. He is faithful. And I don't know about you, but I need faithfulness. I need something that's certain in my life that, that's not up in the air. It's not like a feather in the wind that, hey, maybe today I'm saved, tomorrow I'm not. You know, but the Bible says this in Romans chapter 8. The Bible says, I'm convinced that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Friend, if he saved you, he can keep you. And you just need to trust him today and allow him to give you that assurance of your faith and trust in Christ. Well, I want to thank you for watching the video today. As always, it's a blessing to have you join us. And uh, if you, we can pray for you anyway, uh, maybe you prayed today and gave your life to Christ. We would love to know that, and we would love to encourage you 
in your walk with the Lord. And uh, the way you can do that, even if you have a prayer need, as you're watching this right now, you can send me an email to rickywatt at gmail.com. And Ricky Watt's all lowercase, rickywatt at gmail.com. And I promise you, we will pray for you. Uh, I can send you materials to help you understand how to grow in your walk with God beyond today. And I promise you, if you have a prayer need, we will pray for you and your circumstances and situations. It's just another opportunity for us to minister to you. And for many folks that may never be able to, to come through the doors of Haven Woods Baptist, we count it an honor that we can do these videos and minister to you by way of these videos each week. So uh, we're thankful for that. But uh, we look forward to seeing you again real soon. And I uh, hope you have a blessed day. God bless you. And we'll see you real soon.